Today I'm going to show you how to configure iWeb to work with GoDaddy with a personal domain. So you'll still be hosting your website on .Mac. You'll just have a personal domain. So rather than having www.web.mac.com forward slash whatever your .Mac username is, you can have your domain dot com, your domain dot tv, whatever you want. Now, before people have had problems using GoDaddy and dot .Mac hosting. <clears throat> with their domain. People would have to type dub 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 dot your domain dot com rather than just being able to type your domain dot com right into the address bar. HTTP wouldn't even work, but I figured out a way to make it work, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to configure everything to work seamlessly. So the first thing we need to do is log into our GoDaddy account, which I have already done, so let's go ahead and click on my account. And then I'm going to go ahead and go over here to manage products. And I'm going to click on domreys.tv, my website. And I'm going to go ahead and click on total DNS control and MX records. Now, as you can see down here, the dub 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 says web.mac.com. So Yours would probably have an at logo. So we need to go over here and we need to click the little edit button and we want to change the C name. So alias dub 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 and then web.mac.com and then the TTL is one hour and then you click OK. Now that's pretty much what every tutorial tells you to do mine's a little different. What we need to do is add at the a host the at logo needs to be the IP address of the dot Mac server. I will have this IP address in the video description but the IP address is 17.250.284.34 so we need to go ahead and edit that and we need to put that IP address in so 17.250.248.34 and click OK. So that's pretty much all you have to do at GoDaddy. Now we need to go to login at .Mac, so let's go ahead and go there. So we'll go to Mac.com. <coughs> and we need to click on login. And it's going to ask for your password. We log in, and now we want to go to, uh, what is it, uh, Patrick Domries, which is right here. It's going to ask for your password again. I entered that wrong. And we're going to log in. Now we're going to go to personal domain and we're going to click continue. And you will want to, I'll just go ahead and remove my domain. So you'll click add domain and it will be www.domries.tv or www.yourdomain.com or .tv or .net or .whatever and then you click continue and then within an hour you should be able to go up here to your web browser and type domries.tv and then it will take you right to your website so here's my website uh, I normally have a live video stream here I just turned it off while I was making this video tutorial look my computer was sort of like down we have the live chat room here, which people are participating in, and we have tutorials and whatnot, YouTube videos, we have text tutorials, blog, pretty, we have a lot of stuff here at domris.tv. So I hope you found this tutorial somewhat useful, um, and I appreciate you guys watching this. Hopefully it worked for you, and once again, my website is domris.tv. Have a good day.